Well, this is the finished product on the fertilizer hopper. Nice top on it. This is a eBay sticker. Well, Amazon. Amazon sticker. Now, believe this is a uh, this case international sticker. About two of these. I got one from my uh, planter hopper also. But I um, did a separate video on how to get that sticker off. I painted over top the old one. That's a high top I picked up. If you need a top, they're basically a cosmetic. Basically, keep rodents out of it or something like that. But they're basically the cosmetic. You can get them from Burst Store Tractor or eBay. It's few on eBay, but Burst Brandon the Burst Store sell those. I didn't get mine from there. I brought mine somewhere else. Mine came in a package deal with the Quick Hitch. I think this thing came out excruciating great compared to what it was. Great day. This thing was a heap. I mean, it was a heap. I beat chunks of rust off that thing. It had fertilizer stored in for two or three years. But one thing I noticed, it said this, if you look at it from the side, that hopper is tilted higher in the back than in the rear. It's got to be that drive because... That's the drive they had on the Super 8. And I used that one because this one's got a better gear in the bottom. That gear down here in the bottom there. This one over here that was I brought to come on the tractor. And this one's got a bigger sprocket on it. That gear was wore down pretty bad. That one won't like that. But I noticed, I noticed when it was on the Super 8, it looked like that. It was setting. I'm trying to get in here. But it's setting higher in the rear than it is in the front. It's not setting level. It was setting that way on the Super A also. I don't know why. I don't get why it's like that. You see it here, kind of, kind of good there. But anyway, I, and if you look at it down here, it's it can't go down in there no further. I mean, that's the, that's the lowest that can, the hopper can go. Hopper can't go there no further. And just to clarify any, maybe somebody was questioning this, I can hold my hand on that agitator and turn this wheel. Everything is working in mine as far as the agro supply flow gate handle. Agro supply does not have that boat, I don't think. I got that from Brandon that burst store that little boat there. Everything to me works great. It moves freely. That's the agri supply flow gate handle, agri supply agitator, and the cog gear right here is agri supply. Someone commented on one of my videos that some of these parts will work, some won't. To me, all three parts work. I mean, for five to 15 bucks a piece, you can't beat it. I don't think the cog gear is like 10 bucks versus 40 or 50, you know, elsewhere. Especially for a hobby gardener like myself. You know, we're going to use this thing four or five times a whole year. Where it's great for me. But I was thinking maybe, I don't know. It might be the cog gear. Is what, that gear might be the reason why it's sitting cocked like that. I don't know. I may, I may switch drives and set this on there. Maybe that cog gear. Maybe that, um, that can't be the cog gear either because I still got slop. I still got, no, it ain't that. It's not the cog gear. I should get the light out. It ain't the cog gear. That's not holding it from going down. There's something here or something. I don't know. I don't know why it's like that. It, it's set like that on the Super A too. It's set like that on the Super A also on that with that drive. It's set higher in the rear. But yeah, I think that came out excellent. I set that on there. I'm gonna use, when I lay my when I lay my uh, tomato rows off. That's the first thing I'm gonna do with this tractor: lay rows off for plants. But um, they came out excellent. Whole tractor's coming out excellent. I hate to brag, but the whole thing's coming out excellent. But uh, I paint brushed that. You see some <laughs> there's some bristles that came out. The brush is stuck in there. It's all right. That's paint brush. That was some old, old lumpy paint I had laying around. I said it was a good time to get rid of it. 
I paint brush my all my fertilizer stuff with a brush with hardener in it. I mix I mix hardener in the paint stove. I mix a uh, half an ounce of hardener to every eight ounces of the paint. Most of the little small stuff like this, I don't mix my eight ounces at a time. A uh, uh, half an ounce of hardener to uh, eight ounces of paint, and then I just brush it on with a mix it up, and mix and put it on with a brush. Anyhow, this is the. I don't even want to. I'm a little ashamed of the inside of this. I don't even want to take the top off. Yeah, I got some overspray in there. I respray some of this hopper. Unless I look, unless you look over in there, you can't see it. But um, yep, that's finished product. We're not doing nothing else to this to this top. We're done with this top. We're done with this hopper. Wife painted the dryer piece. Believe that she painted that. I ain't really told her not to worry about them gears too much because the chain gonna be on top of that, knocking it off. You don't keep no paint on there. But um, uh, anyhow. Just the hopper and drive completely reassembled and painted up rather nicely. Thanks for watching.